So on this job, we're pouring some concrete over existing concrete in a garage. The problem here is the driveway. The driveway is too low coming down off the road. It slopes right into the garage. So the homeowner wanted to raise up the garage and then redo his driveway so he can get some slope away from the doors because right now the water just runs right in the garage. So we're going to lift the garage floor up about four or five inches and then he's going to repave his driveway, get that all fixed up and uh, then he'll be good, keep his garage nice and dry. So we're just raising, raising it up, you know, three to three and a half inches in the back. It's, it's about five in the front. This thing slopes a little bit this way towards the doors. It's about a 26 by 24 garage. So that's what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna pour some brand new concrete in here right over the existing concrete. I uh, don't really need any prep because the new floor is thick enough so we don't really have to prep this other than just, you know, we swept it out a little bit. But you can pour the concrete right over the existing. If it's three inches thick or more, there's no problem with just pouring right over what you've got here. We're going to use fiber mesh in the concrete. We've got a 4,000 PSI mix coming. So this will be perfectly fine. Now I've poured a lot of concrete over concrete like this in the past. Especially, the, especially pouring a new garage floor over an existing garage floor just basically to accommodate for some added height or if the floor is really worn and, and scaling and peeling just to give it a, a new surface. We've done a ton of these with no problems over the years just like the one you're seeing in this video right here. Now this garage floor it was really out of level. That back corner back there where I'm standing was lower than the middle of the concrete floor so the person would park their car in there and the water dripping off the car would all puddle over there in that corner. That was one reason to redo the floor, to make the back higher than the front. Like I said earlier, we were sloping this two inches from back to front. And then also, you know, they were going to redo the driveway to get some type of slope in the driveway away from the front of the garage. And the only way to really do that was to raise, raise the level of the garage floor. So they're going to raise the level of the garage doors. They're going to adjust the headers in the three-foot pass door. They'll, they'll move the headers up and, and adjust all the doors. So everything will be just fine in the long run. But pouring concrete over concrete like this, is, there's really no issue with it. As long as the existing concrete, like you see here, is sound and in good shape. It doesn't have to look good. Uh, it can even be, this one has a couple of cracks in it, but they, they haven't really moved. They're not settling, they're not heaving. So pouring over a sub base of concrete just like this, that sound is just as good as pouring over a, a sound uh, sub base of gravel that's been compacted really, really good. Now if it, was, if it wasn't, if it was uh, settling in areas and it had some big wide cracks with heaving, in that case, you're probably gonna wanna jackhammer that out, fix the sub base underneath, fix the gravel and then just pour a new floor over it. Um, probably wouldn't take a chance on pouring a new concrete floor over, a, over an old concrete floor where the old concrete is really broken up and settling like that. It's just not worth it. This was basically a garage floor rehab here. So we're just kind of rehabbing the garage floor. We're gonna make it look really nice. <clears throat> now the water dripping off the cars is gonna slope towards the doors. It'll run out the doors. The driveway will take care of any water that's outside and we're going to give them a nice smooth power trowel finish and then we're going to put on a clear concrete sealer too. Um, that's not in this video but I'll show you that in a later video so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll have that video coming up. You're going to see just how nice this concrete sealer makes this, conc this new garage floor look. So right now we're pouring, like I said, about three inches in spots. It went to three from three to five, five and a half, uh, because this old floor was so out of level. And the, the new concrete's got fiber mesh in it for reinforcement, which is plenty good enough in a floor like this that's on top of sound concrete. That's enough reinforcement. This isn't gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna crack and, and be ruined because there's no rebar in it or anything like that. All rebar and wire do is help hold concrete together when it does crack. 
And that's basically the same thing that fiber mesh does. So it's just a matter of uh, how much do you need to hold the concrete together. And in this case, we don't anticipate the new floor cracking and moving and settling. So the fiber mesh was going to be plenty for reinforcement. We're also going to saw some expansion joints, some contraction joints in this new floor. The old one didn't have any. So that's probably the main reason the old one cracked anyway was just because of shrinkage. So we'll put plenty of cuts in this and that'll control the cracking in this floor. Now Darren's getting the concrete raked out. T is over there magging the edges. We snapped a chalk line around the edges where we wanted the, the uh, perimeter height to be. And now Darren's shooting a wet pad in the middle using the laser to get our slope just right in the middle. And uh, if you guys are looking for a laser, this the one I use is the Topcon RLH5B. I'll have a link for that down in the description. I think that's the best type of laser to use for concrete work. So what we do is we strike a wet pad and that gives the person in the screed and in the middle something to go by. And then the person on the outside edge is going by the, the pad that we're magging, what T is mag, mag floating right now. And then we can just screed to that. And that'll give us our perfect slope. We call this kick screed and as you can see we're kicking in our footprint where we just pull our boot out we're just kicking the mud back in to fill the holes from the boot and we don't have to stop and, and you know pull it three or four strokes and then stop and set back to fill them in we just fill them in as we kick it takes a little bit of getting used to screeding this way but when you do get used to it you can screed a lot of concrete pretty fast as you can see I do the same thing when I screed by myself We're getting that back bay screeded, and then we're going to come down and turn and come out this front bay, and we can get some more of this concrete poured out. It does make it nice having someone who can rake the concrete, too. That makes things go a lot faster when you don't have to stop screeding because you're high or low. Uh, it only takes about a minute to screed out a bay like this. That's a 12-foot screed we're using right there. And the less Darren and I have to stop and start, the better it is for us. <laughs> Especially me. Let me know down in the comments if you're thinking of pouring concrete over concrete. If that's why you found this video. Do you have a garage floor that's in bad shape? And you'd like a new floor? Uh, let me know the size of the garage. If it's a single bay, a double bay. What condition is your floor in? And... I'll, I'll try to respond in the comments to see if uh, you think it's a good candidate or not for that. You can see how that high T is pulling back so we don't have to stop. It's, you know, we like to pull back just a little bit of high, but not too much. So the, the closer she can keep it right to grade, the easier it is to screen. I've probably done, I don't know, over the years, I mean in the last 35 to 40 years, I've probably done, I don't know, 500 of these floors. I don't re ever remember getting a call back on any of them with where something went wrong or the floor cracked or anything. I honestly can't remember getting a call back on one. We've done, we've done a lot of them over the years. You know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just careful not to pour over ones where I'm not sure if the subgrade is sound underneath the floor, then I usually recommend they bust it out and redo it. The height issue is, you know, that's a thing too. If you don't have a doorway that you can raise, then that would come into play as far as deciding what you can do with something like this. Most of the time you can raise a door, you know, two or three inches. If I was going less than three inches on this, I would have rolled on a bonding agent called uh, Weldcrete. It comes in, you can buy it in a gallon or five gallon, you brush it on and let it dry. And then you can pour thinner. You can pour inch and a half to two inches over something like this. And that bonding agent will bond the two floors together. 
but I only do that if it's less than three inches. That's my rule of thumb. Under three inches, I bond them. Anything three inches or more, they don't. I don't think they have to be bonded. There's enough mass there and strength that you don't have to bond them together. And I've never had any issues that doing it that way. So we get the floor screeded, and then, although it's hard to tell, that floor does have two inches of slope in it from the back to the front. So it has a nice even slope now. They won't have any water issues parking their cars in there in the winter now. We're going to power trowel this. You know, Darren's going to stay on it, power trowel it, get it nice and smooth. And then make sure you subscribe so you can come back and see the video where we put the sealer on it and what it looks like after the sealer's put on. So Darren's just checking that doorway with a seven foot rod. This is one thing we do to make sure that the doorways are nice and flat. That's it, pouring concrete over concrete. Get a brand new garage floor. Sits up about five inches above the old one here on the front. We'll power trial this nice and smooth, give it some saw cuts. Then he can redo his driveway.